Drugs are bad, or at least that's what you've been told your entire life. Hey Mike, want some? No way, man. That stuff's illegal. She won't answer you. Why not? This is the way it's been since she started smoking pot. But I mean, we drink coffee or tea with caffeine in it on a regular basis, which is the world's most popular psychoactive drug, so clearly they're not all bad. Not to mention the alcohol you probably binged this weekend. Okay, you can probably tell that one's not too good for your body. But the truth is that even some harder drugs have shown mental and physical benefits in a lot of legitimate studies. For example, magic mushrooms, which are not considered clinically addictive and have very little toxicity on the body's organs, have been shown to improve mental quality and even minimize depression, almost as if it's acting as a psychotherapy. In a study on LSD, looking at 20 volunteers over a two-week period taking a low dose of LSD, they actually found they scored higher on traits of openness and optimism and even creativity and imagination. Even ecstasy or MDMA has been used as a therapy for post-traumatic stress syndrome. It turns out that MDMA increases activity between the amygdala and hippocampus, which is where PTSD patients show a lack of communication between brain regions. Now, I'm not saying you should go out and do a bunch of drugs, far from it, but I bring it up because we're so often told how bad drugs are. And don't get me wrong, drugs are responsible for many deaths and ruined lives, but when we only demonize drugs, we lose our ability as a society to critically evaluate both the good and the bad of any given subject. Substance, or our ability to help those suffering from addiction. And when we completely demonize drugs, we even affect scientists' ability to study these drugs because where are they going to get an illegal drug without getting in trouble with the law? I wish you didn't smoke weed. You're not the same when you smoke. And I miss my friend. Now, some of you might be saying, if we don't demonize them, won't more people start abusing drugs? And I'd say that's not necessarily the case. If we look at Portugal, who decriminalized all drugs in 2001, we can see that about 15 years later, the country has not turned into a drugged up mess. At first, there was an increase in drug usage, but over time, we can see a slow decrease in drug usage and even a decrease in drug-induced death. Not to mention those caught with large amounts of any drug, any drug, are put into programs to help them overcome their addictions with lawyers, doctors, and even social workers. Of course, decriminalization isn't the only factor that has changed in those years, so it's important not to act like it's the be-all, end-all cure for drug problems. At the end of the day, and you've heard us say this before, the dosage is the poison. If you eat enough broccoli, it can kill you. If you drink enough caffeine, it can kill you too. And of course, the amount of broccoli and caffeine you have to consume to die is a lot higher than most drugs, but it doesn't change the fact that understanding the good and bad properties of any substance at different dosages is is important and can be an amazing and powerful tool for us. But it also doesn't mean that you should start self-medicating just because you read one positive study about, say, cocaine. Without the help and advice of a medical professional, things can be dangerous, so don't misunderstand what I'm trying to say. Just because you saw a specific study about marijuana over a specific period of time with a specific dosage doesn't mean that you will be the benefactor of those positive effects if you smoke it all the time. But at the end of the day, I believe that a society that is more open to the truth, that things aren't black and white, that a substance can be both good and bad at the same time is not only a more informed society but a better society. You can drink caffeine because you have the knowledge or at least the access to knowledge about how it'll affect you and your body. So let's try and understand the world of drugs, at least from a scientific perspective, before we start resorting to those unrealistic scare tactic PSAs that we all saw as kids. Look, everybody wants to be cool, but doing it with crack isn't just wrong could be dead wrong. Thanks for watching and putting up with me just randomly walking through a park and popping into different areas. Um, make sure you subscribe if you want more. Let me know your opinion about the use of drugs, the decriminalization of drugs, and, and what your thoughts are on that. I'm sure everyone has a different experience with it. Um, otherwise, we'll see you next time. Peace.